so retina if you look at the retina there are it also has various 10 sub layers so retina can be considered as one layer of the eye but there are 10 sub layers of the retina so the outermost sub layer of the retina is called the retinal pigment epithelium and then everything inside that is called a neurosensory retina which has the nerves and the pigment epithelium is what is basically uh, causing uh, supplying the nutrition and clearing away the waste of the retinal uh, cells so uh, there is a potential space between this pigment epithelium and the neurosensory retina and sometimes if there is a break or a tear in the retina either due to injury or some or any sort of a degenerative condition then fluid might enter in this potential space between the retinal uh, pigment epithelium and the neurosensory retina and the two layers sort of go, go away from each other and the and the neurosensory retina detaches so that is essentially retinal detachment uh, retinal detachment can cause severe vision loss if it is involving the central part of the retina and uh, retinal uh, detachment usually requires a early treatment i mean sooner the better if we operate on them sooner we are bound to get uh, better results uh, than waiting upon it so there are various reasons for retinal detachment it could just be an injury uh, some sort of an injury or a blunt force trauma or some sort of uh, penetrating trauma in which something has poked inside the eye that can lead to a retinal detachment and even advanced stages of uh, diabetic or hypertensive retinopathy or vein occlusions uh, can cause these tractional bands which pull the retina off so it is like a band which is stuck to the retina and it is getting pulled off it uh, so that is called a tractional retinal detachment so uh, that is retinal detachment can lead to severe blinding conditions.